everyone, and welcome to the Caro High School Start Maker Band. I'm Anna Roberts, the drum major for the 2018 season. Throughout this video, you're going to learn all the moves you need to know to march in the Start Maker Band. And don't worry, everything will be reviewed once we get back to band camp. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. This is our attention and set position. It's the most fundamental and important position we have, and it should remain consistent while marching. Notice how the feet are together with the heels and toes touching. It's very important while in this position not to lock the knees. They should stay slightly bent. The upper body should not bend forwards or back. It should remain in a vertical line from your heels to your head. Mark time. Mark. Next is our mark time. Notice how all aspects of our attention position still apply here. The heel of the foot feels the beat. We start with the left heel and raise it two inches above the ground while the toes remain flat. What's really important here is that all the motion happens from the waist down. There should be no wobbling. It should be a natural fluid motion with the feet not rigid. The key concept here is that we're feeling good time in our heels. When marching we use a roll step. Just as in mark time it begins with the left foot. The heel feels the beat followed by rolling to the toe. As the feet pass, they should just clear the ground and pass on the end of the beat. And the toes should clear the ground at four inches when the leg is extended forward. The heel toe technique is intended to keep the upper body motionless and absorb all shock in the lower body. The key concept is to make sure that all the motion is initiated from the center of the body. Backwards, march. For the backwards march, posture is very important. We like to stay up on our toes so we can maintain a very tall vertical posture. The toes will stay down while backwards marching and the ball of the foot feels the beat. Again, the end of the beat is felt as the feet pass. The toes should be clipped to the ground as close as possible and the heels remain off the ground two inches the entire time during the back step. While backwards marching, you must take a bigger step than normal. It will feel like you're taking too big a step, but it will actually be correct. The next action we're demonstrating is one often used during halftime, the slide. With slides, the important concept is to make sure that we have a good rotation of the hips and the shoulders. The hips should always be rotated at a 45 degree angle to the feet and the shoulders would rotate at a 90 degree angle. Therefore, your shoulders will always remain parallel to the sideline. 